Good day, my beloved grade 7 learners. How are you today? I'm Sir Abner, your teacher in Illustration 7. And I welcome you all to another session of Valenzuela Live. Our learning competency for this lesson is to inspect hand tools and equipment received in illustration. For today's objectives, first, ensure that the right materials and supplies are delivered. Second, check the materials and tools in terms of quantity and specification and handle the materials and tools carefully. I know that you are all ready for another learning experience. So get ready with your pen, notebook, and learning module. Let's explore the world of illustration. Did you still remember our topic last time about different forms used for inspection of tools and equipment? Very good. Let's check by answering this activity. Identify the form being described in each statement. Just type your answer in the comment section. I will give you 5 seconds. Ready? Go! Identify the form being described in each statement. Number 1. An official paper on which request is made. Requisition slip. Delivery receipt. Very good. The correct answer is requisition slip form. Number two, it is a printed document for purchase request. What is it? Borrower slip, purchase order form, Marvelous! The answer is purchase order form. Number three, it's a form that shows proof of receipt of goods or services from the supplier. Delivery receipt, inventory form. Great! The answer is delivery receipt form. Number four is a document where the complete list of supply goods is written for checking its condition and availability. Is it delivery receipt or inventory form? Amazing! The answer is inventory form. Number five, it is a printed paper that needs to fill out when borrowing or lending something. Purchase order, borrower slip, excellent! The answer is borrower's slip form. I received a lot of answers in the comment section and thank you so much for your active participation. With that, you can already identify the different forms used for inspection of tools and equipment in illustration. Okay, we're now on week 3 and our topic is maintain hand tools, drawing instrument, equipment, and paraphernalia. Illustration tools are indispensable implements needed by the illustrator. can be quite an investment. Therefore, this equipment must be well taken care of. Keeping our illustration tools clean, well maintained, and properly stored will result in better performance and longer service life. Now, let's have another activity entitled Fact or Faith. 
type the word fact if the statement is correct and fake if the statement is not. Ready? Number one, it is important to inspect and check materials and tools for defects and damages before receiving them so that you can ask for replacements for defective ones. The answer is fact. Number two, sign the requisition form as you receive materials and tools. The answer is fact. Number three, the only task of a supply officer is to purchase an item. The answer is faith. The duty of a supply officer does not end in just purchasing but also in receiving the deliveries of what is being purchased. Number four, if you receive a partially damaged shipment, you need to accept it and note exceptions on the delivery receipt. The answer is fact. Number five, get a replacement for the materials and tools found defective. The answer is fact. Before we proceed with our discussion, let's have first the significant questions to be answered later. Why do we need to maintain hand tools and equipment used in illustration? One of the tasks of supply officer is to purchase the company supplies, materials, and anything that it needs. In receiving the deliveries, understand that you need to ensure that the right materials and supplies are delivered and all are in good condition without defects. Check if the materials and tools are complete in terms of quantity and specifications such as the number of pieces, length, width, etc. Every manufacturer knows the importance of providing quality product to its consumer worldwide. If consumers like the product, it is safe to expect that the consumer would be a repeat customer. In order to obtain high quality products at all times, it is very important to perform different test and inspection process to ensure product reliability, safety, and ease of use. Let us discuss the different procedures in preparing an inspection report. When checking illustration tools and equipment, check the physical condition of tools. Check tools against the specification, quantity, and quality. See to it that all parts are complete and free from any damage. Check the accessories of each material and tool. See to it that nothing is missing. If any of the materials or tools is found missing or defective, report it immediately to the supply officer or teacher. Get a replacement for the materials and tools found to be defective. Sign the requisition form as you receive materials and tools. Store the received materials and tools in a safe area or store room nearest your workplace. Store the materials in proper order, bulky and heavier materials at the bottom, lighter and smaller items on top of the pile. Always handle the materials and tools carefully. Avoid dropping the tools on the floor. 
Do not expose tools and materials on sunlight or rain. This is an example of an inspection and acceptance form. It includes the name of the supplier, the date, stock number, for example, A1, combination of letter and number, the unit, item description, the quantity, and the remarks. Write the name of the inspection officer committee and of course, the name of the supply officer. Remember that you should enter the correct information needed in the form. Okay, let's have another activity. This time, you are going to supply the necessary information needed in order to fill out the inspection and acceptance form. I will give you 20 seconds to answer. You're doing a great job. Good job, learners. You really amazed me. Now to test if you fully understand the lesson, get your notebook and pen and let's have a short quiz. Arrange the following procedures in preparing an inspection report by writing numbers 1 to 7 on the blanks. I will give you 20 seconds to answer the Type them in the comment box. Ready? Go! Store the received materials and tools in a safe area or store room nearest your workplace. Sign the requisition form as you receive materials and tools. Check the accessories of each materials and tools. If any of materials or tools is found missing or defective, report it immediately. Get a replacement for the materials and tools found defective. Always handle the materials and tools carefully. Check the physical condition of tools. Okay, let's check your answers. Now, let's answer the significant questions that I have gave you earlier. Why do we need to maintain hand tools and equipment used in illustration? Useful quality tools can be a significant investment. They will last longer and return the favor if you take good care of them. Making sure your devices are properly stored, clean, and well-maintained will save your time and money, as well as making your projects and jobs much more comfortable. To answer all your queries, let's have Q&A with PARS. Just type your queries in the comment section. Here's the first question from Arkong Bato National High School. Who is responsible in requesting for damaged goods and packaging? The receiving person is responsible for requesting the carrier to inspect the damaged goods and packaging. The formal report should be made by phone right after discovering any loss or damage. Another question from Cetero Francisco Memorial National High School. What is the significance of conducting an inspection of right shipments? Upon receiving purchased goods from a supplier, it is important that the shipment is checked and inspected to make sure that the correct quality and quantity was received. 
For questions not being selected, your TLE teachers will answer them during your follow-up session tomorrow. Congratulations! You did a great job! I'm very much confident that you have developed the most important skills today and that is to inspect hand tools and equipment received in illustration. For your assignment, answer the following in your notebook. Number one, what I know. Number two, what's more. Week three in your learning module. That's all for today. See you again in our next Valenzuela Live. Again, this is Sir Abner leaving you with a quote. We shape our tools and afterward, our tools shape us by Marshall McLohan. Bye and stay safe. God bless everyone.